so we got our cup of hot chocolate, Mm. and we are ready to answer all your guys' form spring questions. So, this is a good question. This will clear everything up for everybody. Why does this say Paulina and your Twitter says Paulinka? Well. Because she's a Polish. Because a cute way to say my name in Polish is Paulinka. Paulina. Paulinka. And so everyone else. Favorite clothing brand? Oh, free people. Zara. Zara. Okay, this is a good one. This is a good advice one. There's a girl that left my school and she's coming back and I recently had a fight with her because I said everyone was yelling or complaining. I'm not going to say the B word. Complaining about her. How should I act when she gets back? Well, you should definitely be the bigger person. And this happened a couple months ago or a year ago, however long this happened. And just forget about it. You know, life is too short to worry about you know, people, go through people so much. you know, people go through so much and you guys are young and you have to realize that there's more to life than drama. Like live your life and be happy and just drama. If you guys free don't get along then don't hang out. That you best advice for a broken heart. Terry. Um I'd say you're young, you're strong, and whatever happened, you can definitely get through and whoever's out there is way better than whoever just broke your heart. In the time, you know, when you break up, it's like, you know, the end of the world. You might think that everything is just over with but for you, but honestly, it's not. Beautiful (laughs) inside and out. There's so many of other fish in the sea. Have you fun. go out, have fun, like get your mind Meet off of someone. it. And hey, a broken heart just gets mended and then it's stronger than before. Ooh, favorite type of cheese? Provolone. I like cheese. Provolone. Which actor would you want to star with in a romantic Ryan movie? Ryan Gosling. Well, she knows that. Or Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> Johnny Depp. If you could visit every place in Europe, where would you go? Italy. Oh, Italy. I'd go back to Paris. Ellie and AJ. What are you both filming right now or soon? Want to answer that first? Um, soon, hopefully, I will be filming something that will require awesome sports and a good tan. That's all I have to say. <laughs> I'm not filming anything at the moment, but I've been meeting the producers with studios. Um, but my my horror film is coming out. Woo! It's going to come out the earliest March, April being more likely. Look at this girl here. <laughs> We're really excited about her movie. Yeah. So check it out. It's called My Soul to Take, directed by Wes Craven. Um, what is the worst thing a guy has ever done to you girls? Um, nothing that bad. Nothing that bad. I mean, we have never gotten beaten up or <laughs> abused or... Well, no. I had someone bite my cheek off once. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that me? No, was shy of me. <laughs> but it was um, funny. It was a joke. I mean, probably the worst thing would have to be is just leading, you know, leading us on and thinking that we're going to get something out of it, but really nothing or yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, just protect yourself. Right? Yeah, protect your heart. Yeah. Why don't you call your mama? I'm guessing Terry's well, mama. Probably my mom. <laughs> Hi mommy, I'll call you. I just called you. What nationality are you both? Well, I'm Polish. I'm Cherokee and Polish. Who is older, Pauline or Terry? Me. I'm the old lady. She's 19. I'm 18. And we throw each other the best birthday parties. Best birthday parties ever. How did you meet each other? David Henry. David Henry's house. We were working. I rock out, dude. Someone Uh, would do the part How can you girls be so funny? (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) A lot of coffee. A lot of coffee. Okay. Denzel Washington, Washington or Johnny Depp? Depp. Johnny Denzel Dob. Washington. <laughs> Johnny Dobb. <laughs> Johnny Dobb. <laughs> Favorite word. word. Um, shenanigans. <laughs> bonkers. What type of shows do you guys watch? I don't have TV, but I mean, we'll watch American Idol. Um, sports. Pants on the ground. Pants, pants on the ground. ground. Looking, Looking like a fool with your pants, pants on the ground. ground. I love House but and Gossip Girl. Gossip, I watch every single episode. Gossip Girl and One Tree Hill are... I mean, One Tree Hill is like mine. Paul Walker, Ian, a uh, summer holder. Ian, for sure. For oh, sure, Ian. I'm not about the blonde. Huh? Then Ian. Ian, for sure. Yeah. Um, action movies or comedy movies? Depends on the mood. Yeah. Comedy, usually. Comedy. I like to laugh. Better than um, some... Don't know what that is. Sex or acting? Would you girls ever, ever do, do Playboy? Playboy? Paulina, for me. 
I'm a Christian as well, and my question for you is, how do you balance your acting career with staying so down to earth? I think the fame would go to one's head, but it seems to me that you're still normal. I'm a Christian. Um, she's a Christian. Um, to answer that question is, you know, I'm out here for a reason. I'm out here to have a career, to do what I love doing. It's not about it's the work. fame. It's not about the money. It's the fact of being in front of the camera, you know, and just soaking everything in and doing what I love to do. It's just a regular job to me. As it's work. As it would be a doctor or being a lawyer or, you know, being a veterinarian. I, you know, I love my family. I love my friends. You know, I have the one thing that makes me stay normal is, you know, my family. And, you know, they're really, you know, centered. And, like, I have a strong head on my shoulders and... I don't, you know, and do... And I go into church every and week. I, yeah, and I go to church every Sunday. I go to church on Thursdays, too. Mm-hmm. And it's, you know your priorities and you know your beliefs and, and, you know, and you stick to it. Stick to it and you stay strong about it. And, you know, it's simple from then on. How did Terry Pretty Andres, aw, start acting? Um, I grew up off Broadway in the, on the East Coast. Um, I started in second grade with Act One Theater School and PTP and Civic Light Opera and... I was doing musical after musical after musical, like, and, like, I started getting way more into the film and the more reality of it and that type of art, and so I switched to film about a year and a half ago and started doing, I got an agency on the East Coast and started doing commercials and um, auditioning for films. I did Sorority Row and moved out here, and I've just been, I got with a new agency out here, and I've just been working, like, slowly and starting it off so it's good um bake cheeseburger or bacon bacon you can put them together you bacon. know bacon bacon you had me at bacon will when you take you... a bullet for each other yeah three <laughs> what three times who's the shy one out of you, you two, two huh? neither of no. us you guys in mind <laughs> <laughs> I can't um, even answer that. It's like, I just went through a breakup with a beautiful person who's still one of my good friends now. Me? I am currently tr- talking to somebody at the moment. And it's going good. You'll see him in the next video. You'll see him. If um, you could be a star athlete on any sport, which sport would you pick? Football! football. What? what? <laughs> What's the kindest thing someone has ever done to you? But this is just like a cute, sweet thing. Um, Matt Benessi, who's one of my favorite people, and we grew up together. He, um, he and I in like junior high. He was in played basketball and stuff, and I'd always wear his necklace for good luck. And like if I went out of town, he'd give me his necklace to wear, and it would just kind of like keep us close. It was like our thing, and it broke a couple years back. And That's right, you told me. Yeah, and I went home over. Um, Christmas break and we saw each other and he pulled it out of his pocket and he found all the different pieces that we had slowly created and gave it to me. I would have to say my ex-boyfriend who when I was in Chicago at the time he still lived in LA he came to Chicago for a week and flew in and surprised me. When was your first kiss and where? In my friend's basement in Eighth grade with John Norton at eight o'clock before New Year's because I wasn't allowed to stay out till midnight. <laughs> Mine was I'm talking about twelve Valentine's Day. Spin the bottle. Really awkward. Sloppy braces. Go figure. You can think of the rest. And I oh wait okay. I kissed a celebrity and I recorded it. So should I upload the video on YouTube? That's all you get. Just one. Okay, I'm gonna answer this question in Polish. Um, do Paulina. Mieszkasz w Chicago i umiesz ty nie tylko po angielsku, ale i po polsku. Czy masz rodzinę w Polsce? Mam rodzinę w Polsce z Białego Stoku, w Gołdapi, w Krakowie. Um, też mam rodzinę w Chicago, ma większość jest w Polsce. So, would you ever talk to... Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. But yeah. if you guys have any more questions, look it up on our Forspring, forspring.com slash backslash it's our lives. We'll do this every once and, in a while. Yeah, and we'll do this every once in a while. So blow up our inbox with questions, and on the bottom you'll see our our website written down there. So just type that in and click away. You know it's Ask a little bit anything. better now. <laughs> Bye, guys.